Pete, you are currently uh, driving very fast at night down a dirt road, taking a turn. On one side, it's uh, it's got like uh, a lake. On the other side, you're not really sure because the headlights are only going one way. Sitting next to you in a uh, uh, one of those cheerleader dresses with the white fuzzy shirt and stuff like that is The Rock. And he's also wearing like a skirt that's ridden up a bit. Um, and in the back seat, sitting next to uh, some girl who's dressed just like The Rock is, is Glenn. Now, the biggest problem that you've got uh right now joshua aside from being at the steering wheel of a speeding vehicle actually you've got a couple of problems first your hands are full because one arm is currently around and feeling up the rock and the other has got a bottle of jack daniels in it and the like next problem my knees? you're not even sure <laughs> <laughs> And the other problem is directly ahead of you is a dark uh, 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 hooded figure in the middle of the road, and you're going to hit real soon. I hit what the brakes and spin the wheel. All right, go ahead and give me a massively hard drive roll. Where is my character? Uh, spinning the wheel, by the way, it's hard because you can't retract the one hand very yeah, well. Yeah, well, I was so going to drop the bottle. Oh, right. It, you drop it and it immediately begins to soak everything. Probably will get stuck under the brake pedal because you're, that's just how your luck goes. So go ahead and give me a drive roll and let's see the fun begin. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what a lovely dirt road. So, Logan, I take it we are in Shermer. Nice. Yes, go ahead and play your card. <laughs> All right. Holy crap, by half? How the fuck did that <laughs> All right, you guys fail to uh, 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 run off the road or anything like that, but you do hit the figure who falls because it's either that or lake or trees for you. Yeah, that's why I was trying to spin the wheel, so we might lose momentum. Uh, yeah, yeah, you were way too close to the figure. You got about the best possible result you could without a hover car. And right, uh, the car skids to a stop. There's uh, the figure. Let me just check his luck here. Go it, send it back to hell. Right. He, when he got hit by the vehicle, he's kind of laying right next to the dark waters of the lake right now. And he managed to land in some soft grass for some fucking reason I can't figure out. So, As the, the car, car stopped. stopped Lovely. And you begin to hear a screaming in the back seat. It's the girl next to you, Glenn. She's now screaming her head off. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> and then Rock begins... <laughs> Oh, I yeah, thought I was it. in the I was in the seat next to him. You you said that. Oh no, you're in the, you're getting felt up by front. McKay right now. You're oh, okay. Front, you, you, you begin screaming in confusion. I, I like that. Oh, Joshua, <laughs> wear blue face. <laughs> oh man, uh, you get slapped around a bit, right? There. <laughs> Just one slap. Oh well, yeah, that's uh, that, that makes it okay. Gonna be... <laughs> Okay. 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 So I have a girl's voice, so um, or a woman's voice. So I'm like, old I am. Uh, well, you're in a chair. So I fumbled my paradigm shift roll. How many sand, sand damage is that? It's not. And this is perfectly reasonable things. You're just dressed differently, and you're with your buddies. Oh, okay. So no paradigm shift. Not in this case. No, I'm saving yes. that for something horrible. Okay. It, it's cool. weird how sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. Almost like there's some sort of weird reason behind it. Anyway, uh, the girl in the back seat that Glenn's calmed down grabs it, grabs him and goes, Kyle, I think we hit something. She called um, is the car stopped? The car is yes. stopped and she did call you Kyle. I'm going to try a different microphone thing. Maybe I can make this stop echoing mic communication. This one. I think it was just the deer. Oh, thank God, Jesus. A female deer? <laughs> Not a doe. Uh, I, I open the door and run out of the car and check on the uh, 
victim. Sure, give me I a put the first day roll. Into, I put the car into neutral or into park or whatever. Uh, you look around the baffling controls. It shows like the slow camera pan over the controls, mm. and part of it's like a, a 747's control panel, and you don't <laughs> notice, and it just keeps slowly panning. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, you can uh, give me a mechanical repair roll, McKay, as you're like, hey, let's see here. Using basic uh, thermodynamics, I believe that, uh, why doesn't this have voice control? That's or not a driving roll. I figure your mechanical repair is probably better. Yes. You can yes, do driving is. if you are. No. I was looking under M. Uh, yes, I make my mechanical repair. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, got it. Ha ha ha. This silly machine will have nothing over me. So I made my first aid at minus 30. So it's at CPR uh, time. If he, possibly in a coma. Okay. Joshua, this guy's in bad shape. Guy! Says the Freddy. girl sitting next to uh, Glenn. Oh my god, she bounces out of the. Uh, uh, car. She is a very stereotypical cheerleader, although she's got a bit more fluff, so to speak. Yes. She goes, oh, oh no! We have to so get rid of him. Are we wearing a um, high school jerseys or whatever they call them? You guys begin to examine yourselves. Uh, right. You notice that in addition to smelling a lot like alcohol of some sort, you are wearing a football jersey um it, it's got a uh, bobcats uh logo on it go bobcats and uh let's see um the rock has got on the uh, cheerleader girl tight sweater maroon skirt heels purse um stuff like that uh and then uh glenn's got on pretty much identical to how would, mckay's would dressed I wouldn't they have runners on or something if they were in their cheerleader uniform? I uh, no. No, they've got heels on for some fucking reason. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I pull up my lollipops because Joshua's a dirty boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, he is. Take a card, uh, Rock. All right, I'll get out the car and go over. The girl goes, the lake? We should weigh down the body and put him in the lake. Otherwise, Chris's big college scholarship will be ruined. He'll never get to go to college or play. Mary, calm down. Mary? Who the fuck is Mary, Abby? Um, sorry, I, I'm, I'm shocked. I've forgotten your name because I'm shocked by the accident. She comes up and begins shaking you, and she says, we just have to keep it together. Oh, God. Oh, God. What, what, seriously, what's your name? <laughs> Give me an acting role to fall off the I'm freaked out as opposed to I'm. <laughs> she shakes you harder and just goes, stop being so blonde, Abby. So, uh, Chris, is Chris out? Oh, boy. Yes, I, said, I, I, said I, I said I was getting out the car and going over. Okay. I gotta, I gotta try a different fucking microphone. I think I'm echoing through somebody else. You're not echoing at the moment. God yeah, damn it. You, you stopped echoing. Yep, it's good now. Yeah, because when you left, the echo completely went away, so... Whatever it is, it's your it's it's your end. But um, now the microphone's good. You got a different microphone. Uh, happy, happy pie. Okay, um, I start to get it together. Kyle says the girl whose name you still don't know, looking at uh, Glenn. Echo. What's that? Ah, you've got to you've got to help uh, Chris get the the body in the water and weight it down with something. Otherwise, we're oh. fucked. She says. Are you sociopathic or something, woman? 
Don't you talk to me like that, Chris. You can't talk to me like that, Chris. Or Kyle, she says to uh just uh like, drop well, you, you're winning us to murder someone. Speed away. It's vehicular exactly. manslaughter. I like that- I like your idea, Kyle. We'll drop him off in front of the hospital and speed away. I'll do it. Well, let's make sure he's okay. Um, Abby, not good. Did... Not good. Not good, Chris, uh, Kyle. Huh? He's 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 probably going to lapse into a coma here. He's got severe system shock. Oh, he's already he's breathing, he's though, right? Just a bomb. He's just a bomb. He doesn't that's matter. You take him to the hospital. Girl. I am um, really are sociopathic. I chest. I check Have his pants for ID. A, have you been seeing a psychiatrist for that issue? She looks shocked and she says, "What's wrong with you, Chris?" You can't treat humans as if they're trash. You can't tell me that after what you did to Bert. That's something that's different. That's got nothing to do with this situation. What? You beat him to death with a shovel, she says. <laughs> he deserved it. <laughs> Yeah, it it he had it coming exactly. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> this, on the other hand, is some poor guy who's out there. He was trying to wave us down. Maybe his his partner is trapped or something. He had a broken down car. I mean, he maybe he's standing. a maybe he's trying to hitchhike. Standing in the middle of the road. Besides, we can't go to a hospital. Or we can't get talk to any cops. She goes over and slaps Abby. <laughs> <laughs> she says, Ow! <laughs> Cut it out! Slap her back. Don't take that from her, Abby. Ow! Now make sure you rip her top when you're doing when you're fighting her, though. <laughs> okay, so um... she passes away and glares at that, Chris. <laughs> yeah, okay, so so yeah. I'm confused now. You call Josh, uh, Kyle, and Chris, and you call. No, no, no. I'm 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 Chris. He's you're Kyle. Chris. It's okay. okay. It's okay, Abby. I know it's a bit of a shock and stuff, but it's okay. <laughs> You've just got to calm down, says the girl who still won't identify herself. <sighs> All right. Like I said, I searched the bum's uh, pockets for a wallet and ID. Ah, what excellent. Sort of, what sort of clothes is the individual wearing? Uh, he is wearing dark clothing with a dark hoodie. Uh, according to a driver's license in his uh, wallet, his name is... Kenny Deet. Uh, he also has fifty-six dollars, a couple of credit cards, a picture of a little girl, and a wad of keys. All right, I take the money. We can't kill him, but robbing him is okay. Says yeah. the unidentified girl. I, I don't know. I'm down with you. Who did the first aid roll on him? By the way, me. You're thinking that his uh, left hand is severely mangled and will soon need to be amputated. Both his hands are very dirty, like he's just been going digging in the dirt or something. Does it look like um, the injury is not sustained from the crash? It looks like he, he injured it somewhere else. Um, how would you be able to tell? It looks fresh, but uh, you're not you're not. Well, because there. it would be blunt force trauma versus versus scrapes or. Oh, he's got some scrapes and stuff, but uh, his hand is mangled. You're not sure what caused it. It doesn't look like it was a slashing weapon or something. Okay. Oh, check out that hand, Chris. Yeah, I don't know much about first aid stuff. Uh, Logan, question. Mm-hmm. The dagger, being that it is a object of power, chaos imbued, do I have it? No, because it's not your object of power. I know it's not my object of power, but I'm just curious. Mm, because always good thought. It. it may end up becoming your fucking object Maybe. of power. It's not a claimed object of power. Maybe. But yeah, it, as I said, I was curious because, yes, I was wearing it. So how, how it worked. Interesting. That would have freaked them out at least the girl. Everybody else would be totally okay with you producing a fucking dagger, but she might be a bit shocked. About the sword in my pocket. Uh, you, you, you feel <laughs> around. Oh, yeah. I, you'd have to pretty much try to take it out in order to uh, uh, get some stuff going on that. 
Until until you try to take it out, it's a Schrodinger sword. Would you Sorry, like it, to attempt to remove your Schrodinger sword? I can wait. The you you found a wallet, did you, Abby? Yeah, yeah, uh, Kenny D. By the way, I was being discreet about pocketing the cash, but ah, well, you didn't uh, mention that you were doing a press digitation. No. Nope. No, I didn't because I suck at prestidigitation, so we're good. I'll make so a roll. You're not discreet. Cool. You can always I can, I can make. A, I can always make a roll. Yeah, I mean, if you get a fumble, you'll just throw it up or make it rain. Okay. No, no. Um, not so a fumble. Is the address? Is there an address on his license? There is. You don't recognize it. As in, is it local? Does it appear to be Chicago Shermer area, or is it somewhere yes. else? No, Chicago Shermer area. Shermer area. Okay. Is this like, um, like Michigan? You're not really sure. You want to go taste the water to find out? Hmm. If it tastes like urine, it is. So are we in a wooded area? or? Yes. What, what? You know, I was going to say, I'll look around and see if there's any lights nearby. None. Hmm. Does yeah. anybody recall seeing a um, a recall? Bar? You've never used that word in your life, says the other girl. She's still freaked out. What's wrong with you, Chris? Yeah, Chris. Is that the alcohol speaking? Yeah, speaking, it must be the that. alcohol mm. speaking to whom? She says to whom? <laughs> <laughs> I slap her. <laughs> she goes, "Thank you. I I'm better now." <laughs> <laughs> Do any of us have a cell phone? No. Yeah, let's get him to the hospital then. Yep. Yep. He'll just drive up, slow down, roll his body out, and speed away because we've all been drinking, including Chris Cook, who's been drinking. Where, what happened to you? Oh my God, did you? Oh, the whole car smells like booze now. You know, I dropped the bottle trying to avoid hitting the poor guy. I told you and you wrapping... should have used the straw. Well, I didn't want to wrap the car around a tree and have you go through the front windscreen. That would have cost a fortune to fix the juco and the, get the blood out of the juco from you. What's a juco? <laughs> get the blood out of the vinyl and the leather. You're too. You're so drunk you can't even speak correctly. She says. <laughs> I slap him. <laughs> Hard for us. <laughs> anyway, now listen, we've got to pull it together, she says. That way we can all go off to college next year. Kyle, yeah. do you feel up to driving? Yes. I'm, I'm a bit shaky from all yeah. this. All right, beautiful. I hope Logan's... you're not too shaky. Otherwise, you, you're. is your arm okay? If the magic arm is broken, you're not going to get into fucking college on your scholarship, she says. Yeah, yeah. Does Forward it look broken? Pass, two point conversion, interception. Let's go. Okay. She says. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying, but anyway. She's well, okay, sitting up front now. Yeah. I play a stat rearrange. Um, I do um, uh, learn to will. Interesting. Real weird. I want that extra hit point, he says. Give me the extra hit point. Actually, I just want, I want to be able to make magic work. Okay. Ah, uh, you can't. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it turns out that uh, the the uh, you begin driving down the road. Now, would you like to? You've got a couple different choices here, Glenn. You don't need before, to make a driving before, roll. Sorry, I was just going to say, before we leave, I make sure to retrieve the bottle of Jack Daniels so it's not kicking around the... Um, well, cool. getting in the way of the... Um, Throw it in the lake. Throw it in the lake, yeah. That's no that's no way to talk to her. Talk about her. Eh? Huh? Sorry, it's a bad joke. <laughs> Don't make me slap you again. See, it went straight over her head. She didn't even realize. <laughs> 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 oh boy! Uh, where where are you going to put the uh, the body across, across our laps? Mm. So uh, you Abby, and uh, Abby and I are in the back seat. Okay. 
and unless the woman with no name, the cheerleader with no name, I should say, <laughs> grabbed her she's hand. In the, bag, she's right? in the passenger seat. She's riding shotgun now because yeah, she yeah. Has but to unless she's grabbed her, her handbag, I'm going to go through her handbag to see if I can see what her name is. Excellent. Take a card. Yeah. Uh, according to her handbag, because uh, she has like a uh, ID card because she's underage like student for ID license, or whatever. Right. Uh, according to that, you got her name, which I will message you. So that way you can try to figure out clever ways to bring it up in conversation. Uh, and by the way, you've uh, got uh, your purse rock is up in the front seat. Okay. Um, can I reach? Can I reach over and grab it? Alice, could you get my purse for me? Who the fuck? Is she turns back. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm so Laura, shocked I forgot your name. Laura, stop hitting her. That's not nice. Mm. Everybody goes, oh. <laughs> Maybe you are a sociopath. Now, here's, here's the fun uh, choice you have to make, Glenn. Would you like to, A, continue in the same direction of previous travel, or B, go the opposite direction, because you have no idea where you are, and no, a fucking map won't tell you anything when you're out on dark country road. Even if you had a compass, you have no idea where you are. You need a GPS, and then you can tell, but you don't have that, because they don't know what cell phones are, because they're a bunch of primitive screwheads. Which way to the hospital? No idea. Got me. I look at Laura. Laura. Gabby. She looks, at you, she looks at you like you're on crack. Gabby, you which way to the know. hospital? Laura. Her name is Laura. You're Abby. <laughs> you're Abby. She's Laura. You get slapped again. <laughs> yes. You kind of feel like you deserve that one, though. Okay, <laughs> okay Peg, cut out with oh. the slapping. <laughs> now you're just doing it to annoy her. <laughs> and you're doing a good job. Uh, make a U turn and go back the other way. When you do the U turn, she goes, What the fuck are you doing? No, turn around again. Another U turn. We'll, we'll all take it. We'll also keep an eye out for lights of houses around here. All right. Uh, Especially yes, deserted uh, shacks in the far in the woods. Ooh, give a, me a spot co- hidden sorry, roll. Cabin. Deserted cabin in the woods. Mm. Got to get the Sure, give me a right. uh, just Pete, give me a spot hidden roll. Glenn's working on driving and uh, the rock is working on yeah. avoiding being slapped again. There is a fucking dark cabin in the woods right <laughs> over there. <laughs> there's there's a cabin just over there. There might be a phone there we could we could call the uh, cabin. It's probably his cabin exactly. We can take him in there and call call an ambulance. Okay, Kyle, get us over there. Are there even phone lines out here? You mm-hmm. look around, you don't see any. And if there's a book which has got a weird oh. face on it and it's got Necronomicon on it, <laughs> we make sure neither of the girls read it as I really don't want to see either of them getting raped by tree roots. What kind of book? Oh. Is that Laura? <laughs> mm, dendrophilia. Anyway, <laughs> I pull into the cabin. She glares at, glares at Kyle. <laughs> right, you uh, find a little dirt road that takes you over to the cabin. It's a dark and spooky cabin. It looks like the kind of place where if you wanted to murder somebody and leave their body, you could just uh, you know, drive them over here. Or if you want to claw somebody's grave up. Sure, sure. And spin um, on it later. <laughs> Abby, do you want to can check the glove box? I can't remember if there's a torch in there. Uh, I'm in the back. Laura, sorry, torch? sorry, you're in the back what with the me. What the fuck are you babbling about? <laughs> flashlight, flashlight. Uh, he's probably shocked too. She just glares at you guys. She goes, you are too drunk. You shouldn't be driving when you're that drunk. Do you think you're British? What's going on, Chris? Well, anyway, is, yeah, or is there... Um, this is America. Smoke, is there smokes and a lighter in there? Um, no, no. Uh, you do find uh, another bottle of alcohol, though. <laughs> Doobies in the glove box? Come on, there's got to be something. 
Uh, uh, there's, there's, uh, up is uh, Dan is oh, sideways. Some, some sort of uh, rolled up uh, cloth in the glove box. Who's the car registered to? Uh, that'd be Chris Cook. Yeah. Yeah. Try a different microphone because it keeps fucking kill everybody. Well, try refreshing again, and we'll all talk and make sure it's not one of us. You'll disappear. Okay. Any echo? Yep, we got echo. Oh. Now I got echo on my end. I'm going to refresh. I think it's more to do with the fact of because you're using your um, computer mic or your headset mic. Okay, we still had echo when that happened. I'm going to try refreshing. And he's gone. I, I knew it wasn't me. Ah, ah, ah. It's not. Oh, I still hear the echo, so it's not him. Let me mute myself and then talk. Testing, testing. Hello. I can still hear the echo. It's uh, Glenn. Try muting yourself real quick, buddy. Testing, testing. Nothing. Well, mute, Pete, I, unmute yourself. Testing, yep. testing. It's fucking Glenn. Glenn, you are the root of all evil. Oh shit! I gotta click the thing for Russ. Sorry for the delay, Russ. We figured out it's actually Glenn that's echoing because his headset is made of pure evil. Okay. Well, he's gonna he's gonna not. Now it's testing, time for him to testing. refresh. Hello. Testing. Hello. Testing. Yeah, I got some echo still. It doesn't appear to be as bad. Oh, my fucking camera is. There's like. Yeah, yeah. A big yeah, crack thing in it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Technical difficulty. Da, 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 I, I like da, it. Da, da, da. I like how you, I was, was going to say, I like how he rearranged his room, moving the, um, oh, then there were two. The uh, crack's gone. I don't know what caused the crack. Yeah, it was Testing, weird. testing. Much testing. better. Hello. No, no echo. No echo. Good. <laughs> Glenn, you have been designated the root of all evil, so yes. However, we have had echo when Glenn wasn't when Glenn. We have mm -hmm. had echo when other people are being playing. Yes, but I'm going to designate uh, uh, Scott as the person to blame for all echo, regardless if he's even on or not. Well, everything is Freddy's fault. I can't fault your logic, actually. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it, true. Well, every other time I've played where you've had Echo, Aeolus, a.k.a. Alex, was playing, so therefore... Oh, Kyle, okay. I'm scared. I'm scared, Kyle. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Step out of it. Cabin. Step out of it. Stop talking to my man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, can you please pass that over? Abby. Do you want the rolled Laura. up cloth bundle yes. that's in there? Yes, the roll up cloth bundle, Laura. She Please passes pass it over. I unroll it and see what it is. It's a big fucking uh, flag that says Go Badgers. <laughs> or, sorry, Go go Bobcats. Go Bobcats. I was going to say, <laughs> oh, I see we stole this from the opposition if it says Go Badgers. That'd be good. Badger, that'd, be, badger, that'd be better. Badger, 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 Badger. Badger, 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 Badger. badger, 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 badger mushroom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, no I I grasped Chris's hand tightly. This is feeling awkward to you. You are. I raise an eyebrow to <laughs> Jacob, especially considering what he tried to do to me in the um, mine, the Mygo mine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I leave that an open question. <laughs> You're you're beginning to wonder if the the rock is like throwing himself too far into method acting as becoming the Dustin yeah. Hoffman of the group. Chris, Chris, we have to act normally. Chris, we have yeah, to be yeah, as normal yeah. as possible. No yeah, fucking yeah. in here. We've got to investigate this shack and stuff. <laughs> How the fuck Laura. at a time like this? What are you? You are a sociopath. And, you always and, fuck at times like this. It's your go-to. Oh God, you got me there. And you're not going down on me at the moment because I've heard horror stories about ha happening while people are driving and then getting made into eunuchs. 
really toothy blowjob. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, right, so uh, I step out of the car and... No fellatio for the moment. No fellatio for the moment, yeah. Maybe Which so. is surprising That's because right. you're playing with The Rock. I know, I know. <laughs> Check out the murder right. shack. Yep. Right, you guys leave the uh, the body in your car and go check um, out the... Sorry, I was just going to say, before we go too far, Abby, would this um, flag be useful to act as a bit of a tourniquet or to try and staunch the bleeding? What the fuck is a tourniquet, says <laughs> Abby, that's you. That's you. Yes, yes, okay. Um... I made a first aid at half. Is there anything I can do with this guy? Uh, he shouldn't probably be moved. Uh, oh, wait. He's in the back seat now. Uh, you're impressed he's still alive. You, you're not really a doctor, but uh, if you're going to put on a tourniquet, you remember that uh, you shouldn't do it on the neck. <laughs> something about only a doctor should release it. Probably because the doctors usually have on those masks, so when the blood sprays out, then it doesn't get all over their hair or something. Does so the mangled really... hand look like it's in need of a tourniquet? Uh, it doesn't. It's not leaking. Okay. He's not bleeding. We don't need a tourniquet. Okay. Nice. I wasn't sure if he was pissing I blood everywhere on my wander off on my looking. liver seats or vinyl seats. Hope... Whatever the hell I've got in my car. I my should hope Logan didn't, didn't miss that detail. <laughs> He's spurting all over the place. <laughs> I would have told you about that. Yes, yes. <laughs> he may not have been spurting, but he could have been just leaking. No, mm -hmm. no. He, he's fine, fine. You guys leave the uh, car. Um, we need to. We need to not see him for enough time for him to replace his hand with a hook. Mm. Mm hmm. Everybody agrees to this. Our... No problem. You, you, right now, because it's the only source of light, the car's uh, 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 idling with the headlights pointed at the murder shack. Maybe you should shine those headlights through the window so we can see when we go in. They're um, shining as, as good. It, it, it's not a hard target to hit the shack with the headlights, so they are kind of are right now. Well, let's if, look for a phone. If, if Abby had not grabbed the keys off him, I will grab the keys off him. I know Abby mentioned him having keys. Uh, so you grab the uh, possible keys for the murder shack. Got it. Mm -hmm. And the car keys. Uh, that would make the car turn off and that would leave just the headlights on. If you want to do that, okay. it will drain the battery. And it means that we can't jump in and speed off in a hurry. Right. Because the car will go dramatically. Mm -hmm. I'll just wait in the car. Keep the car running, <laughs> Kyle. Keep the car running. All right, Chris, what are we going to do? Should we split Kyle, up? You need to come and protect me as we check out this place they keep calling the murder shack. No. I think we should split up. You just stay here with me. Yeah, That's you, a good you two idea. Girls, we'll cover you, more ground. Yeah, you two girls go wandering over there. Which of you okay. is the black guy? He needs to go over there by himself. <laughs> okay, where's the dog? Where's Shaggy? <laughs> And we'll go up, go up to the front door and check it first to see if it un opens or not. If not, check to see if any of the keys. No problem. You guys are you three, the two girls and you. Well, girls, you know. Um, yeah. or you check out the uh, keys and such. And eventually, you find one that fit. Glenn, you're starting to feel very alone in the car. So, um, danger sense roll, Logan. Sure. I'm, I'm waiting for the, um, um, what's his name? Kyle hears a, a, a bit of a noise in noise. He glances up into the rear vision mirror and suddenly sees a form there sitting upright. Basic success on the danger sense. Oh, the murder shack? Perfectly fine. You should be okay in the murder shack. What could possibly go wrong in the murder shack? Logan, behind besides the, the seriously obvious, do I feel like we're in imminent danger? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm so nervous, Chris. What are we going to do? That's a spooky old house. Where's old man Withers? Um, how, how high heels are the high heel shoes these two are wearing? Uh, a couple, uh, 
I don't know, eight or ten centimeters. Take off your shoe and stick it through somebody's eye if they come at you. <laughs> Just take it off and go, whack! Okay. I, I guess I could do that. I don't know if I could do that. You could totally do that. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> All right, I take off my shoes and uh, put one shoe in my hat, head. She says, "Okay, all right. Who do you I gotta, have?" You got to be able to stagger and have one of the heels break as you're running, fleeing for your life, and then stumble over first. Come on. Okay. All right. All right. I'll put them back on. Good point. <laughs> Anybody want to swig it for this bottle I found in the back seat? I don't want any of that stuff. Uh, you, have you got your purse with you, uh, Abby? Um, yes, I do, actually. I, I grabbed that. Hey, give me one of the little bottles of gin in there. Okay. Here you, you go. Open it up. Inside, in addition to your uh, 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 normal IDs and stuff, you've also got four small bottles of gin and two empty small bottles of gin. Apparently, these girls like gin. Mm. What, uh, what one, sort of gin is it? It's it's uh, baby gin. It's uh, the kind of gin that's preferred by uh, newborn babies, uh, three to five over the competition. I look over my ID. Am I old enough to drive? No, no. You're you're uh, according, actually you don't even have an ID. Okay. Uh, Not even a student ID. No. Laura, Not everybody in the U.S. has student IDs. Laura, how's okay. my makeup? Is it okay? Oh, you're, a, you're a mess. We'll get it fixed up when we get don't, inside. Don't you have a oh, my God. The mascara it. must be running down my face. Abby, surely you got a compact with a mirror in your purse. Yeah, but it's pretty dark and stuff. Are you guys wanting to enter the murder shack? Yes, because we need to find a light source. Excellent. You guys go into the uh, murder shack, and uh, I will Scott, basically... give me a... Uh, Listen, roll lower is better as you yeah. guys as those guys are creeping around in the yeah. murder shack. You mind the only reason to stay in the car was to keep an eye on the body. Oh yeah, you're you're, you're sitting there looking through the rear view. Yeah. Oh yeah, waiting for him to rise up. Minus oh, yeah. sixty. Oh yeah, minus sixty. Excellent. You uh, see somebody else sneaking up to the uh, driver's side. You think that they're armed with a long weapon of some sort. I get out of the car and yell, Hey, what are you doing? Get out. There's a guy. All right. You get out of the car and you be, you begin to get ready to yell. And the guy puts a gun in your face and goes, Keep quiet if you love Jesus. <laughs> <coughs> Keep quiet for Jesus while I smother you. I Bless it on the smothered. Yeah. Are you wanting to do anything? Nope. What? Nope. Okay. He, he, uh, the car's still running and stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm going to make a listen roll to see if I hear that. Or do we hear that? You don't hear that. You're in the shack doing stuff right now. And okay. he, he whispers, better run, better run now. Otherwise, I'm going to kill you. You can't see who it is, but you can hear a dark or a voice in the darkness. I can't see the guy that has a gun under my chin. You can see an outline of a guy, but the uh, lighting's pretty fucked up because you got the headlights on and stuff like that here, and they're not pointed in the right direction to really get a good view on this. But you're not blinded by him either. It's a dark shape threatening you. Sounds like an evil redneck, though. You would bet you're an evil redneck. Good, th uh, good thing there are no black people with us. Anyway. Right, right. He would have just killed him already. Hence why you know. I said earlier, the black yeah, person uh, and the black guy amongst our group go over that way. No hablo <laughs> ingles. <laughs> and you begin, you begin the dramatic combat <laughs> with those famous words. He goes... Mexican. <laughs> Oops. Uh, let's see. Uh, heroes, heroes are first. Villains are second, and get one pause for any non mooks. So every villain gets a pause unless they're a mook. Um, 
right, you, you hear, and you know he's getting ready to shoot you in the face, but you are remarkably, actually, no, this is a surprise round. He shoots you in the face, but who knows? He's not that good a shot. What's um, approved? Uh, nothing. Ah, bummer. Right, a huge deafening noise right next to your head, Glenn. You're like, nah. you guys hear a boom. Uh, we go to the next round. No, you guys, you guys all go, oh, what's that? And attacking somebody with an unusual weapon is approved. Villains are first. Um, he attempts to strike you with the gun. A little bit better with this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, so, um, Glenn, what do you do? Grab the gun. Give me a grapple roll in half as you're going for it. Yeah, you've got you, you've got the gun. He's got the gun. You've both got the gun. And uh, McKay, what are you going to do? You're in the murder shack. It's dark except for the light coming through the windows and whatnot. Which and I'm assuming makes... there was no light switch by the door because that's what I would have first done, was step in, fill for a light switch. If not, keep going in. You feel something that has some sort of weird bulbous body with legs and stuff coming off of it. And you're like, Aah! this is not a good thing to feel when you're going for a light switch. It feels about yeah. the size of a tennis ball. Yeah. If you were in Australia, you'd probably already be dead by now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Oh, I, that's what you're feeling. You're feeling up the wall and frozen like that right now. Uh, what do you want to do, Joshua? I remove my hand and run outside. Um, oh, I remove my hand and turn around, go to run outside, but assumably the two girls are right there in the doorway. Oh, yeah. There's going to be some fucking panic. What are you doing there, Rock? Um, I, is there a chair that's immediately in front of me or something? It's pretty dark, but you're <laughs> actually immediately in front of you is McKay. Past okay. him is a chair. Okay. Um, is it the kind of chair I can break and get a club out of? Uh, maybe it's kind of dark. Right, you go consider the chair for your round. For right. her round, uh, let's see, she goes for a sneak attack. Right, the uh, Laura pushes the rock into McKay and she goes, ah, and then runs, runs off somewhere else. It's like, ah, you might, you might somehow hinder me if, unless I push off. So, right, you, you guys are, uh, Actually, uh, Rock, give me a strength roll for free. Lower is better. This is to see if you just kind of stand there and go, oh, I got pushed. You go, oh, I got pushed. Okay, you stumble forward a step. That's it. It's like, oh, well, fine. And uh, we now go for, uh, let's see, Glenn's got shotgun next round. Ooh. Uh, lifting your weapon and announcing, I have the power is approved. Villains are first and get healed. Heroes are second and get healed. Right. Yes. Uh, villains go. The guy in the back seat gets up. <laughs> yes. Ah! Um, I'm back to full hit points. Thank you. Yay. I, and, I was still over half dead. Yay. Glenn, what do you do? Um, I want to keep holding on to the shotgun with one hand and try to reach for my sword with the other hand. It'll decrease your strength quite a bit if you're just doing it one-handed. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. All right. Hey, great. Uh, go ahead and uh, actually, the bad guy's first. He's going to try to turn the gun. Uh, you're doing a strength versus strength, so are you wanting to do it at a reduced strength while you let go of it and try to, ha, 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 I can just do this one-handed because I'm super tough. Yeah. Cool. Uh, it's probably not a bad choice. What's your strength normally? 83. All right. Call it 53. <laughs> so you've got to beat by 20. So roll 70 or less. 53, that's 30, Logan. I reduced yeah, yeah. the strength by 30 because he's holding it one-handed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. And the, it shows the shotgun not fucking moving at all. <laughs> do, 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 do. And the guy's like, eh, eh, eh. Meanwhile, um, the other guy got up, and we go to Glenn. Glenn, go ahead. Now, you're you're going to try to make a willpower times four. Mm, interesting. Mm. Usually, it's times three in the area. No, usually it's times five. Oh. Magic times times 
Okay. Uh, recently, it's been times five. Ooh. All right. And you pull out a sword. Uh, the guy you're Swing. currently battling stops, looks at you, and blinks rapidly. <laughs> and now we go for McKay. Yeah. Fast draw. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Where's that? While well, you're uh, no, it's up near sword. While you're looking for that, McKay, what are you doing? I uh, sorry, was did the um, cabin? Did the murder shack have a porch, or was it just stairs to a door with a little thing out covering the door from rain? Thin porch. All right, I, I shall maneuver around Abby, who usually is. Give me a maneuver roll. Like, what are you trying to do there, Rock? I'm over by the chair, right? Uh, yes, you were examining the chair. Would you I like smash to... the chair, grab a ta- grab a leg from it, and you raise it in the, the air and say, I have the power! Actually, you pick up the chair this round, and then you can announce that. Okay, I announce that. The chair is a weapon. All right, cool. Uh, take guard, and how do you do on your... Uh... Made fast draw, made sword, rolled four damage. Did four points damage, got it. And how do you do on your maneuver beat? Yeah, oh, we made it by half. Sorry, this should right. be a D twelve. Are we in card trade range? Sure. Okay. Um, I have a grapple plus twenty if uh, if you want it, Scott. Why should it have been a D twelve, Scott? Um, because I have a strength bump and it's a magic sword. Roll willpower times four to see if the magic part is working right now. If it is, then you did seven. If it's not, then you did four. Okay. Because magic doesn't work all the time here. Willpower times four. Four. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Seven points. All right. It's echoing again, Scott. I blame you now because I got Put it over. testing, testing. Bra. Hello. Wow. Moving the mic works. It is, his headset's old, but he loves it dearly. He loves it more than his children. I remember him saying the other day, I love this headset more than my children. And I said, oh. Or maybe the headset's leaking a bit of sound or something. That doesn't sound like Scott. I could have been having a weird dream. I don't know. I did eat some weird shit. I think shit so. I think that. you were having a nightmare. I don't know if I would classify it as a nightmare exactly. So, uh, like. Do I dream that? Yikes. Mm. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not sure who should be more concerned, Logan or Scott. <laughs> uh, I'm going to the next round. <laughs> Let's see. This round, villains are first, maneuvers approved. Uh, the Damn it. guy in the back gets out of the car, and the other guy... Uh, tries to valiantly headbutt uh, the guy with the sword in the face. And he, <laughs> and he falls. And headbutts uh, the car and knocks himself Oh out. my god, this is the worst possible thing. Because he goes, oh, and he was getting ready to run next round, but he has apparently pulled something in his back. So no running for him. <laughs> He's just <laughs> fucked. And right, we go now to Scott. You've got a sword that's apparently stuck in this guy's back. And he's like, ah, I run it. I'm fucked. He goes, uh, damn you. Uh, is the guy that looked dead menacing me? Uh, no, he's standing outside of the car right now. Oh, he's just standing there? Well, he hasn't got to go again. He got out of the car. That was it. The simple action to weigh. Okay. Like, I'm slowly getting away. Uh, keep cutting shotgun boy then. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, there you go. bumps. D68. D68. Oh. This guy's going down. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. There's a big gout of blood and stuff. And uh, let's see. For her round. um, Laura? Yep. She grabs hold of your arm and goes, you are so macho. And and (laughs) over to um, McKay, what are you doing? Well, I was going to 
simple action down and club the guy, but with the bottle in my hand, but it appears I don't need to. You look I, I, will, I will see what the guy that, well, if I can see him, the guy that came out of the back of the car, what uh, he's doing. Shit, it's, you got bright headlights. Okay, yeah, it, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm holding my hand up and looking around and seeing if I can see if there's any other threat foes. Rock, what are you doing? You've got a chair. I smashed the chair to get a club out of it. Give me a strength roll as you begin trashing some poor guy's apartment. Strength. You hear something explode down there. It sounds like there's a hell of a fight going on down there, Glenn. Mm -hmm. And right. My simple action towards the door after I do that. Uh, you see McKay standing in the doorway. His back is to you. It looks like there's a bright light on the other side of him, just like there's a UFO getting ready to fucking abduct his ass and maybe probe you both. Don't run towards the light, McKay. <laughs> no one's the first. All their stun is healed. Uh, and <laughs> right. The, the uh, guy staggering away who was uh, run over earlier. Kenny. No, I can't seem to. Uh, he's trying to run unsuccessfully. Like, help me, Jesus. And uh, right. Laura uh, chooses this round to uh, go down on uh, uh, Kyle. <laughs> oh my God! That's so worse than me. Zipping her fly, and <laughs> as he stands over the bloody sword, and he's like, "This is why I learned how to fight with this thing." Yes, I um, am Conan the Barbarian, the Librarian. <laughs> And the the lamination of the women. <laughs> lamination of the women. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wondering what's going on. Uh, what do you do? Oh, simple action down the stairs and try and get out of the light so I can see what's going on. Ah, certainly. You go back over and you see too much. And Rock, what are you doing? Uh, same thing. Uh, you also get to observe uh, uh, Glenn having himself a right good time and standing there posed as Conan with the sword like I am the champion of the universe I have the power <laughs> too late <laughs> uh, and right unless anybody's wanting to go after the poor unfortunate who's only wanting to run away because he is absolutely terrified out of his mind uh, unless you're wanting to go chase his ass down Penny, we we're going to take you to hospital Kenny, are you okay? I'm chasing his ass down. Right, you capture him eventually and drag him back. Yes, there's, you've you've captured Kenny, you bastard. <laughs> well, at least we didn't kill Kenny. True. Uh, Kenny, no you've got to you've got to say the phrase. You killed Kenny. No, 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 no. I would, and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you damn kids. <laughs> <laughs> No problem. It shows, it shows him get back just as he makes a luck roll. <laughs> he, 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 the, the uh, um, Glenn expenditure missed him completely. He is delighted. But Millions of dollars. Small, right? <laughs> right. He, he, he looks terrified. He looks like just some backwoods guy who was hit by a car and then came to in the car. And he oh, goes, up. And Sorry. came upon one student giving an one a blowjob in the middle of the street out and, and over, over a dead corpse. I, I like, roll my eyes and say, oh, for the love of God, Kyle, pull your pants up. <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kenny, is this your house? Who are you people? Oh my we God, my brother. He's dead. He tried. He was, he tried what were you doing? Me. You're standing in the middle of the road. I was walking home. We were going to take you to hospital. We saw this place. I want to go to hospital. I want to go home. Well, there you go. Do you have a phone? My brother's dead. Sinks to his knees and starts crying. He has his head bowed over. And Laura wonder wishes thing, to Kyle's ear. 
You could decapitate him right now if you wanted to. Logan, I'm keeping an eye on the shotgun in case Kenny decides to, while he's bent down, his hand is going out for the shotgun. That's in the other hand. Oh, it's still in your hand. (laughs) It's still being held. (laughs) Okay, no worries. He really does have the power. I'm not sure if um, Len had dropped it. (laughs) (laughs) Woohoo! I'm dead at dangerous. Shotgun in one hand, and a sword in the other. Some women will look like that's hot. Mm. <laughs> this particularly Laura. Yeah. Everybody needs a fucking sociopathic girlfriend like Laura. Laura's advocating for killing this guy. She's a witness to you killing his brother. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not holding Kenny anymore because he's on his knees. What? I'm not holding Kenny anymore because he's on his knees. You can hold him up if you don't want him to slump over the body of his brother and cry over him. You can just like hold him in the air so he has to kind of be great. No, I put my hand on his shoulder and say, there, there, Kenny. It's just fate. He seems pretty fucking inconsolable right now. Uh, as his brother's been run through and then cloven almost in half of the fucking sword for some reason. <laughs> That's a good reason. Mm-hmm. All right. You hear a distant car coming. Sounds oh. like a long way away currently. All right, so what do we, what do we want to do? You wonder where he got that sword. <laughs> you gonna do you do you wanna try putting that sword away again? Uh, that's a good idea. Uh uh um um MIBs. Oh. He begins hiding it behind his back. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. She's like, hmm? Watch this. <laughs> Let's get the pluck out. As, as you see a little bit of semen dripping off of the edge of her mouth, her eyes begin blinking at you rapidly. Let's yep. get the pluck MIBs. out of here. Now we get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 